My name is Matt, welcome back to the shop and this is quite exciting is this video, have you seen what I've got in front of me, let's just move you a bit, there we go. So, um, Richard Jones uh, is such a common name that I'm not really giving anything away. Richard Jones contacted me uh, a couple of weeks ago saying, or a week ago or something like that, saying, Matt, I've got this turbo thing, do you want it? And I was like, well send us some pictures, let's see what it is, and it is this. <laughs> so um, there's a few companies in the past and there's a few companies nowadays that do stuff like this what they do is they will strip components for you so you this is a Garrett turbo this is a TBO3 and um, they will strip them clean them and then cross section them like this so you can see the inner workings of these things and then they send these things to colleges uh, technology colleges, um, universities, you know, stuff like that. Some uh, schools and this and the other. And they basically send them these cross-sectional things. They do engines. They do. There's some companies that do fridges. There's some companies that do all sorts. Um, these are very, very, very expensive for what they are. Um, beautiful job done. This one's, you know, it's got a bit of damage throughout its life. It's quite an old one, is this one, and it definitely needs a clean. There's dust and shit. But they've even put the little o-ring back in there. That's fucking awesome. Um, but yes, as you can see, this is a spinny me thingy that makes more power come out of engines by magic. Um, but this is absolutely awesome. It's got the wastegate. It's got the oil feed. You can see all the oil feed in green. Uh, the hot end, which is all in red, and the cold end, which is all in blue. Um, so I'm going to do some videos of me taking this apart uh, in the near, near future do some videos about taking this apart and just basically talking shit and turbos and stuff while we take this apart. Um, it just needs a clean, there's loads of crap and this and the other, some bits could just need, you know, do with cleaning out and such and then we'll put it back together and then I can use this as um, a proper demo of, uh, of how these things work and so on. Um, and yeah, it's just absolutely, it's a beautiful, beautiful thing. I will be keeping this forever, <laughs> uh, unless until unless Richard says he wants it back. Um, yeah, it's just something that goes on your shelf. You know, it's it's beautiful. I love it. I love it. It's just awesome. So, yeah, I just wanted to show you that. Thank you, Richard, so much. Um, he said it was in his uh, dad's workshop, I think, if I remember correctly. His dad's workshop, and it's just been sat in there forever. And um, he just is in the channel, likes the channel or what have you, and just said, uh, oh, I've got something you'll be really interested in. And, um, they, yeah, they sent this in. One of these days in the future, like I always fucking say, but basically when I move to a proper work, get my proper workshop set up again, um, I want to do one of these with some engines, uh, quite a few, en a couple of engines, cross-section them um, so I can show... Uh, so I can use them in videos, so we're not just gassing and I have to keep on drawing it on the board. I can keep, I can usually uh, <coughs> use the cross-sectional models to actually show you some of this stuff. Because, you know, nothing does it quite well as, as an actual demonstration like this with all the parts. You can pull them all apart, like I've done with other stuff before, and say this goes in here. But actually seeing it like this as an assembly and seeing everything spin you know, and what have you, it's just, it's a lot easier to see uh, and understand what the hell's going on. You know, with stuff like this, you can see the cross-sectional change um, around the, the actual scrolls. Um, you can see oil feeds, you know, like I say, they've, they've done a good job of this, of splitting all the oil feeds and oil passages and stuff, where the plane bearings go, uh, you know, just stuff like that. But as you can see, it's got shit all over it, it needs cleaning out. Uh, some of these bits of paint need to be, uh, you know, Either complete, I might strip all this yellow off, um, and then repaint it, get some you know, creamy yellow stuff, and repaint it myself, uh, or see if we can just repair these bits. Basically, just bring it back to life a bit. Hope that makes sense. Hope you enjoy this. Thanks, Richard, so much. You have no idea. Uh, it's just awesome. It's just cool. You know what I mean? I'll give it a little whiz around. We've got the actual serial number on the back there. You know, yeah, as you go, fucking hellfire. It's all over. My set's falling apart. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, you can see, you can just see the, the grime and shit on it because it's been sat, sat still for a long time. Um, do you know what I mean? So there's the outlet for your uh, turbo, uh, for your hot side, your turbine side. Um, you can see, no, on there's a tiny bit of play in it. Shit happens. See the bypass there for your um, <coughs> wastegate. So that I've actually might even put a pipe on there to there. The fuck is that noise? Oh, ghosts! Anyway, <laughs> turbo ghosts. Um, yeah. So and it comes on this massive 1980s thick block of oak with that horrible green felt. I might actually replace the base. Uh, take this. There's a little plaque on the front there. You can see. I might actually replace this base. This is a bit too 1980s for me. I think a nice square bit or something like that. I don't give a fuck. Um, yeah, but it, it, as you can see, it just needs cleaning. There's a little bit of paint off there. We can just tart this thing up a bit, um, and it deserves it, you know, because it is a, it is a work of art in itself. People have Picassos and Pollocks and all that shite. Fuck that. This is what I want. <laughs> Hope that makes sense. I'll see you in a bit.